Hi guys, thanks for, so much for joining me for week three of my project life. Um, this is an interesting week because of everything going on um, with the inauguration and um, I have a bunch of photos and I also had a bunch of um, journaling that I wanted to do since there was kind of a lot going on in the world this week. So I end up doing something different and I'm using these little flip pockets from Simple Stories and I'm going to put those over two of the photos just um, to give me more space to add journaling. So um, that's what I'm doing right here, um, kind of figuring out how to use those because I've actually never used them before. And this is a super easy card to do. I just stamped the date and did my journaling and that was it. I didn't really have to um, embellish or do too much here because it already kind of had some stuff on it. I should just mention um, there's one middle card on um, the right hand side and, um, and that had some journaling on it from some other stuff that was going on at school and I just, um, it was some stuff I couldn't share so I put a sticky note over it and um, that's what that is but it doesn't have the pink and all of that. This layout is entirely blue pretty much. Um, so that, what I'm messing with right now is an ephemera piece from the Indigo Hills. Um, or it's called Indigo Hills, it's from Pink Fresh. And it just says this way, um, this way to cool vibes, which is super corny, but it kind of worked for the photo. And now I'm using um, the Brilliance Moonlight White ink and a stamp from uh, Christine Heron. And um, it says Weekend Wandering on it. And since it was MLK Day, I'm gonna st stamp MLK on top of it to put, so it's MLK Weekend Wandering. But I think I got distracted by something else, and I'm all over the place right here, but I'm gonna come back to it in just a second. Anyway, so yeah, I finished this off with some outline letters. These are also from Kelly Perky. And that uh, photo is done. I like it really simple, just like that, and I love the look of the moonlight white ink on the photos. They work so well with the Costco Luster photo paper. Really too well because as you'll see in a little bit, um, everything stink sticks to these photos. And now I am gonna write Namaste y'all with um, the little Clearly Kelly Hero Arts letters and I love those. I used those a ton last year. I think this is my first time using them in this year's uh, Project Life album. And I'm using this ink from Messy Box, and it's just like a really bright blue, and I use it all over this layout, um, so I really like it. And now I'm just gonna put a little strip of um, a journaling card underneath the Namaste Y'all, because there's just like a little awkward gap between the bottom of the photo and the letter, so that's what that fills up right there. And of course, got a tiny touch everything. Yeah, it's a little. It looks a little bit dark, but I think in person, it's it still looks. The letters and the ink still really work on this photo. And here I'm going to put a piece of ephemera from the currently collection that I've used in the last couple layouts. And um, that's just so the arrow points down to the journaling, and it also points down to the bottom photo because this journaling goes with both the photo on top of it and the, the photo on the bottom. So that side of the layout is done. That was the easier side for sure. Um, and I think here is where stuff starts to go a little bit wrong, but I'm still able to get through the layout. Um, that's a stamp that says Girl Power um, in a circle, and I was thinking about using that for this picture from the Women's March, but um, I can't really like I just don't really like the way it looks anywhere. Um, I think I might like it better if it was stamped directly on a photo so I don't end up using that. And um, I'm using some washi tape. I think from that's um, from Amazon in a big pack. It's a brand called Kimono Tape. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just waiting for this to happen. Okay yeah so I stick the stamp down on this photo just to see the placement and it is so sticky that it sticks to the photo and it rips the photo so I glue the photo back in place but in person you can totally see it's ripped so I just keep rolling with it 
for the sake of this video and I'm gonna have to fix it next week. But anyway, on top of that, I wrote, we can do it, uh, or I didn't write it, I stamped that with um, a stamp set from Kelly Perky and I used the ultra blue ink there as well. And I like how that turned out, but yeah, the photo is totally messed up, so. Now on the back of this photo, just to, for some filler, um, I'm gonna write inauguration 2017 with the little um, blue alpha stickers from Kelly Perky. And this happens to me twice while I'm doing this layout where I start in the middle and I think it's gonna work, but for some reason it ends up on the end. Um, and it doesn't really end up mattering because um, I stamp on this photo in just a second and I don't like how it looks. So I'm gonna move all of these letters over to another photo. Or another, sorry, another uh, journaling card. So I have a couple different stamp sets um, that really work this week. There's the one that's kind of like a feminist um, stamp set and then there's two different ones that are kind of like not my best day type of stuff. Um, so I wrote, wanted to use that over it stamp but, um, oh, I think I cut, I cut that out, but anyway, I stamped it on and I did not like it. So I move everything over to a new one and then, um, I'm going to stamp something else instead. I think that one says this too shall pass and that, and that, so I stamp on vellum and just staple it down and I end up liking the way that looks a lot, lot better. And the sentiment is perfect, um, for the event. I never really know what to do with those um, cards that have like the pattern on most of it and then the white bar at the bottom or top depending on how you um, um, depending on how you place it but if you like have any good ideas for that let me know in the comments below because I am always kind of struggling to figure out what to do with those cards. Now I look through like my entire stash of cards and I can't find another journaling card um, that I want to use because I'm going to use some grid paper below and I wanted this to be something different. Um, so I take that basic gray paper pad, I showed it from my haul um, and I love that. It has just tons of grid paper and um, line paper and stuff and then I use, I think that's from the small Hero Art set. It just has a bunch of um, like what are they called like symbols and stuff basically it's like like cursing basically um so that's what that is right there and then i'm going to sta stamp the date here just because i felt like a lot of the stuff going on this week was historic i wanted to stamp or have the dates of most of the stuff so this is where i'm going to journal about the inauguration and oh it was G i wrote january 2nd of course which was wrong and I had to go back and fix that, but I did that after I filmed the video. So I love the way that way card turned out, just simple with the date and the torn. I put a torn um, sticky note from uh, the Hero Arts set, and I think it just looked good. Anyway, so now I'm gonna work on the top photo I'm really coming, doing things out of order this week, but I wanted to use that ultra blue ink and I didn't have some of those already stamped out, so that's what I did there. And I'm also, I'm gonna, I use, um, this is Hero Arts ink, it's just a navy blue, and I use that quite a lot on this layout as well. And since there's already kind of like a lot going on in that photo, I just keep it simple. I put some washi tape that's also the kimono tape. And that's the intro photo. And now this is another uh, card from a Kelly Perky kit. It's kind of weird and I did, never knew what to do with it, but I thought it would be perfect for an intro card and then I could put um, vellum on the top like I'm doing here. So you really kind of see the pattern that's going on there and then we can still read that it says week three and then there's me getting stuff from my desk but um there's all the little circles you can put inside those numbers and that one said no so I kind of like that one since I just wasn't really feeling everything going on this week and I tore the edge right there 
I'm thinking about putting that flare on that says chin up buttercup, but it does, and I just didn't think it really worked. There's just way too much stuff on my tiny little desk. And that is kind of a struggle for me when I'm filming that it's just like hard to do everything with so little space. But I'm doing, taking that piece from the same card and I'm going to staple that down. Or no, I'm, well I am going to staple down but put some tape on there too. Just to kind of give it a little bit of contrast and a little interest. And then there's a stamp. This is from the Clearly Kelly Hero Arts set that I, I think it might be called like Not My Best Day or something like that. It says shift happens, which I thought was, it was so perfect for the inauguration because it's like a shift of power. And it's also not a super happy sentiment, which is perfect. Anyway, so I really like how that turned out. I really, that's one of my favorite um, card, intro cards for, from this album, even though there's only been three. And then I have this flare there that's also from that currently ephemera and it says we were here and I kind of wanted to use it because I like the idea of being like we were here doing this kind of like historic thing but um it doesn't really work anywhere so I think I oh yeah I end up using another stamp that says life is tough and so am I and then and that's from another on <laughs> Kelly Perky said that's probably not available anymore um and then I have that idea, um, I have this week set that has all the days on the week on it. It has this giant W for Wednesday, but I wanted to do W for the Women's March. So I stamped that and wrote Women's March in there and did a little bit of journaling on top of that. Oh, and this is kind of in that awkward shape because in my photo there's like some lady's head right in front of it. And I really, that was really bothering me and I felt like it kind of messed things up. So I covered it up per, and that kind of covered everything perfectly. And that's the end of my layout. You can see I kind of flip everything up and down a couple times. And here's a picture of the final thing. So thanks so much for joining me. And I hope to see you in my next video for week four.